three, two, one, launch. And here we go, preparing for launch. Airships need gears. Both sides of the field, human players. The pilots now putting the gears up top. And it's back down into the field. Red Alliance pilot slips it out. And they're going to have to replace it with their backup gear as it now goes into play. The auto score, that's going to be definitely a Blue Alliance advantage. 20 points now as they take their way into the next two minutes of driver-controlled robotic action. As these airships prepare for the race, fuel begins to spill into the field. Compliments of Spartronics, who are trying to load up the hopper as quickly as they can. Spartronics machine pulls into position. And a one, a two, a three, four, they just let a stream go as it flies into the hopper. Out of the hopper, up into the boiler. They are making quite a few shots there. Very, very high accuracy from that Spartronics machine as they're now on the hunt for more fuel. Blue Alliance still taking the lead as Red tries to close the gap. Spartronics full again. Their Alliance partners trying to find some gears to play as the pilots they await help from 492. TRC, who lines up and is trying to let go of the gear ever so softly for the Red Alliance. Blue Alliance machines may be down one as it looks like Full Metal still holding steady. With 60 seconds to go, it is anyone's match. Blue Alliance in the lead. Red trying to equalize as quickly as possible. As 25 22 Royals now tracking down the perfect angle as they're right up against that driver station wall. And a couple of rogue shots bouncing off the top of the steam pipe. It's a bunch of fuel in the air for the Red Alliance. Not so many connecting until you see Spartronics pull into position and just let them rip. 110 right now, Blue Alliance still holding the advantage. Red trying to rack up those fuel points. As we see the match continue, both teams with two rotors turning. Everyone on the hunt for some more gears, but now it's time to climb. They abandon all hope as the robots scale their way up. Blue Alliance trying to find their way to just one rope. As looks like it's gonna come down to the wire for the Blue Alliance machine. It's Full Metal Robotics there from Lakewood High School who may have just pushed their team up into victory. It's gonna be up to our referees as they tally the scores and we bring you the results along with match number five coming up in just a moment. There you go, looks like that Blue Alliance climb did count. So with that, unfortunately, Red Alliance still takes the lead, but Blue definitely doing everything they can to give it all they got as they came in about 50 points shy or so, 40 points as we tally up these balls. Blue Alliance gonna go lick their wounds and they'll be back out in just a moment. We have match number five coming up next. <laughs> 